Good morning everyone! Welcome to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Korea! Uh, we are playing on a small continents map. Uh, hopefully there's going to be, be a lot of water action around. The last time I played on Pangea and uh, it was basically flat everywhere and all the water stuff never mattered. So I set it to a continents map, This is sorry, the small continents map. Uh, this is a standard size. Uh, Emperor Difficulty, this is my first uh, game on Emperor Difficulty. Uh, it is uh, standard speed as well, so I found that the epic speed is a bit too slow when uh, you try to do anything except domination, and I'm going to try to do something other than domination, maybe. So, there's a lot of mods, and another thing I, d I did is I, uh, out of the seven AI civilizations, I choose that we're going to play with England, Indonesia and Polynesia, so there's going to be a lot of interesting uh, naval action, hopefully. Especially England, my Yuri is scary, because England is like a top tier civilization. Well, supposedly Korea is as well, but I never played Korea and I played as England, and England is really scary if it knows what to do. So we're playing with a lot of mods. The mods are third and fourth unit component, so we go I'm just going to discuss what components we have as Korea. We have Capture Plus, so we can capture uh, all the great people, settlers, and even spaceship parts, if by any chance it goes that far. Um, the we're also playing with Civilization 5 diplomacy values, which just uh, on mouse over gives us exact numbers of all the diplomatic modifiers. Ethnic units is just some texture mod. Uh, this uh, historical religions complete just uh, gives us a, a few more religion icons to choose, but it doesn't actually affect gameplay in any way. Info Addict just gives us a, a few extra info screens. Less Warmonger Hate just balances out because it was like C5 is kind of ridiculous. It just uh, is slightly smaller and the guy is slightly faster. It's not a huge change. More Luxury just, just spawns a few more luxury types, so it does a higher chance that somebody is going to have something interesting to trade. New Belief Packs. Uh, gives us more pantheon beliefs and more religious beliefs to choose from if we're going to get a religion, which is because the difficulty is relatively high. Not all that likely, so it maybe will just help AI. Policy plus just rebalances policy trees, basically nerfing tradition and making others kinda slightly better, but we're going to go for tradition anyway, probably. Uh, promotion melee ranged correction is just a bug fix. Scout ignore borders, let scout go through borders, especially city state borders, without annoying them. Uh, this makes exploration slightly nicer. Separate great people counters. I feel this is a bug fix, but it's a kinda nasty bug fix. Uh, it makes it so that by generating like a great merchant, you don't screw your chances of generating great scientists and so on, which is a basically horrible design. Uh, this is Ancient Ruin Fix, uh, it merges the Reveal Map and Reveal Barbarian Camp options to make it slightly less pointless, and XP from Force gives units a few XP points whenever they sit on Force, if they have very very low level. The last time I played with this it happened zero times, so we'll see. Uh, oh, and let's discuss Korea as a civilization. Um, let's go to Korea. So, Korea uh, has a unique ability, um, and its unique ability is that it gets plus 2 science for all specialists and uh, for all great person tile improvements. So, it does a bunch more science, and it receives a tech boost each time a scientific building is built in Korean capital or a wonder is built in Korean capital. Uh, scientific buildings like library, university, and so on, which we are going to build all of them, so we're going to get a boost for one, every one of them. I wonder if you just, just like delete the building and try it and build it again if it happens. That would be an interesting exploit, but I'm probably not going to do that. And with wonders, uh, it's a relatively high difficulty level, so I don't know if we're going to be in the Wonder game at all. Maybe very late game, uh, not the early game. And Korea has like three, three unique units. It has the Turtle Ship, which is much stronger than Caravel, but it can't actually go to any uh, deep ocean tiles, so it might very well be weaker than the unit which replaces. Uh, this is different. It has Huacha, uh, which is uh, a replacement for um, it replaces trebuchets. It uh, has the same, the same, uh, the same problems. It cannot melee attack. No defensive terrain bonuses. Must set up for inch attack. So the difference is that he has like lower uh, combat strength. No bonus versus cities, but higher base ranged combat. 
so it's stronger against other units and weaker against uh, cities, which basically means it's a shittier version of Trebuchet, like let's let's be honest here. So we have two units that are just worse version than what everybody else gets. Uh, so we get a very nice unique ability, actually I'm not actually sure what the numbers are for... Uh, it says... Um, oh, yes, sorry, let's, let's not get there yet. So it just says that we receive a tech boost, but it doesn't say how big this tech boost is, so I don't know how good it is. The, the plus two per specialist is really nice, obviously. Another one we're getting is an Usher. So it gets an... Uh, uh, this is from the third and fourth unique, unique uh, component mods. Uh, it's, uh, it's a crossbow and replacement. It received a combat bonus against mounted units and other archer units, which is a really weird thing to do. It's going to be very situational. Uh, I'm not actually sure if it's going to be much good. I, I think, if I understand correctly, it's going to be inherited if we upgrade. Like, with Huacha and Turtle Ship, there are no upgrades at all. So, if we upgrade them to next level, they don't get anything. This one gets. Uh, keeps its bonus against mounted units and against archers, which is not really all that great, because there's not going to be that many archers and mounted units uh, after in the era of tanks and so on. And we get a Seon, which is a replacement for university. Uh, it all g yields some uh, small amounts of fate and culture, so two fates and two culture, uh, which is slightly nicer and it still has maintenance. So. The extra stuff Korea gets, other than its unique ability, is just relatively weak. It's basically... Eh, okay, let's just call it relatively weak. So, let's take a look at our start. This is where we're going to start the capital, because you never move, we just put the capital whenever the game just puts you. There's a salt tile, which is nice. There's a chocolate tile. There's a cattle, uh, there's a mountain, there's a hill, there's river, there's some coast. I don't know if there's going to be anything in the coast. The salty a few more mountains and we cannot work them. Uh, looks like a decent start, it doesn't look like an amazing start. Uh, I think this is a part of some continent, I don't know how many other civilizations are going to be on the continent. It's supposed to be small continents, but um, I generated a bunch of maps just to test how it even works and many of them are really, really ridiculous. Sometimes you have like start with a small continent and like you have like five different small continents just merged together by a really, really small strips of land or other ridiculous stuff, uh, it's just, I don't know, I tried many different map generators, I tried like large islands and small continents and Oceania and, and Archipelago and it's, every one of them was just weird. Uh, this one is like somewhat less weird hopefully, so let's f build a city, uh, obviously we're going to do that. Uh, we're starting with production focus but just for like, just at the beginning, I'm going to just get tired of that eventually. Uh, I don't know how big continent is, so I don't know how good the scout is. I'm going to build a scout. Well, it might be a total waste of time, but we'll see. Uh, oh, this is a banana in, a ra in range, but it's just very in range. This fish is out of range already, so... Sadly, if this fish was one tile higher, that would increase the value of the city slightly. Uh, start with pottery. I'm going to try to get religion. It might not work. Um, it might be much harder. But if I get like a goodie heart with some fate, it's a chance. It's not a very high chance, but there's a chance. Uh, yes, and let's make sure that this is always here. I like seeing, like, like technological progress is basically the most important thing in the game, so I like to have it there. Uh, this is Amber, this is one of the extra luxuries. Uh, of course, it's really out of range. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, this is five. So we can't buy our way there, but the city is going to eventually expand. Or we could just, like, expand to bananas and then pop up a citadel. So we could get this Amber at some point. Um, it's not like terribly important like that early game to have extra happiness, but eventually it's going to be like relevant. I'm like playing with the default happiness values. The only ma things that changed is the... Is that going to be a nice place for a second city here? There's an Amber, there's sheep, there's bananas. I could put a second city somewhere there. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to send like a scout north and this dude here. It's not like... Nobody has any special abilities, you just enter the ruin and you get around random stuff. Like random barbarians, uh, you receive 90... Ancient treasure of 90 gold. That's decent, can I buy anything? Like, how expensive is this stuff? Very expensive. So, like, a monument is... 
280, yeah, that's just, that's just horrible. Uh, okay, so that basically did nothing. Um, okay, next turn. Uh, this is Barbarian Camp. Uh, I could probably clear it at some point. I could just attack it. Uh, it's going to damage me more than uh, it damages... Ugh. I'm not a fan. I have to clear it at some point and might as well do it now. I'm going to have to uh, have a scout to explore and now I'm just going to rest for a few turns. Uh, next turn. I never had a problem uh, of... Okay, so in 10 turns we're going to expand here and this is a nice tile. Oh, uh, the city expanded, I don't want to work this tile, I want to... Oh, actually we could just buy one of the tiles. Uh, it doesn't matter if we buy this one or that one. And it would be much best, yeah, that's, that's a good use for gold. So I will want a worker quite soon. I don't think I can... Let's just queue a worker after the monument. There's always a chance I'm going to be able to steal the worker, but it might not be very high. Okay, so one, two, three... Uh, this uh, ship is in range, this salt is going... is just too far to be worked, but it's in range uh, to eventually uh, get an extra copy, like a third copy of salt. So the thing is that even if you play with extra luxuries, the luxuries are just cl too clumpy and it's really annoying. Instead of having like three different luxuries, you're mo most likely to get three different copies of... I mean three copies of the same luxury, which is not very useful. Okay, that's an extra ruin. Uh, you keep... yeah, Barbarians never regenerate, so that's why I can just uh, like attack him even free. This, this is kind of city attack and just like wait. And like, I have time. And like, it's also like a way to protect my my city. Mining! That's good. So mining is important because we're going to uh, get sold in 8 turns. And we're going to get a worker at some point. I still want to try a shrine. Religion is difficult unless you have some kind of a bonus for a religion. There's nothing there. Okay. Um. I think next turn, yeah. Next turn we're going to attack. Pottery, okay. So let's try animal husbandry. Maybe we're going to reveal some horses. Uh, yeah, that sounds most reasonable. Uh, let's attack again. And every attack gives us some experience, so... Ah, that's good. Oh, two ruins, this is awesome. And the AI has not stolen them yet. Uh, I wonder who the AI is. Also, like a question, it's always like relevant to uh, to check if this is a place where you want to. Wow, yeah, this is for my religion idea. Okay, um, where's the uh, yeah, drill? Okay, just keep attacking. It's minor defeat, but that's fine. Um. I'm seriously more damaged, so I'm just going to sleep again. Okay, let's do this. Advanced, yes, so we have an archer and the archer is still ignores. Yeah, so this is another archer. Oh, there's a wonder. A Baranger crater. Uh, so this is an archer that ignores terrain cost and rival territory, which is, well, a bit silly, but it's probably going to be my only scout archer. It's a really good defense. Okay, there are only five natural wonders because we're playing without the mod since it conflicted with extra luxuries mod. Uh, the previous time I, I tried to play with the more luxuries mod, which ca created luxuries like amber, and with the mod that rebalanced and added extra um, uh, natural wonders, sadly they conflict, and I care about more extra luxuries more than I care about extra uh, natural wonders. And we got one extra wonder anyway. Except this place is kind of crap. It's just like. And just desert with nothing, no, like, it's not like flat plains or anything, it's just random desert. So we're probably not going to use it. And for a second city, uh, maybe this hill? It's next, I don't know, one, two, three. Like, you normally don't want to put a city on top of one of the resources, and you kinda want, because there's like a fish, there are two fishes, so... 
This one is too far from the fish house. Maybe this. It feels like it's too close to the capital. Yeah, it's just one, two, three, four, four times from the capital. Maybe this one is too close. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to just. I'll think about it later, but. I'm not going to start a second city anytime soon, but. Wow! Another one! How many barbarian. I'm not playing with any extra barbarian options. This is just a standard, a standard setting. Ah, yes, sadly. Uh. An extra brute. So yeah, they keep spawning. And they probably keep attacking me. Yeah. Maybe I should get the hell out of there. Like now. Or maybe not. I don't know, but don't regenerate and ugh. I don't like this at all. Okay, so you could move here. Okay, this is Polynesia. This is one of the one of the civilization I added. Hello, hello. Do you have anything to trade? Nothing whatsoever. You have twice as much gold as me. Well, uh, I'm still going to take this ruin. Uh, how is this their border? It might be their border already. So they're really close. So maybe I, no, I kind of like rushing uh, units is just crazy. They attacking? That's just crazy. Sadly, I they're going to take this first. I literally cannot. I'm kind of hoping that this dude is going to survive. Wow. Uh, let's just steal this. Uh, Ninety gold. Okay. Uh, I might get damaged and this dude might... I don't think they... Uh, well, I guess they could attack me. I don't know, it's going to be really sad if I get attacked and killed. Uh, okay, just do this. So, I have three nice tiles here and those tiles are going to be nice as well. So, the city starts kinda nice, but it runs out of decent tiles pretty soon. Or maybe not. I mean, it's going to get the ship eventually. And you can just plop a farm here and cut this forest and set up another farm here. Yeah, that's, that's not the horrible city. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I hope it's they're not going to murderize this dude. It'd be really nice if, the, if he survives. Yeah, he's going to steal the camp and take all the money. I cannot do anything about that. And they're going to attack me. <sighs> Maori warrior. Uh, what's the Maori warriors like? I don't even know what that does. Okay, let's move one tile and hit. It's a scout, so I should I should just try to explore instead of trying to. Uh, presumably, like this area was already explored by air. This is air border, so I should just go north. Maybe there's some more ruins over there. Next turn. Okay, I just let them fight. Or I could just rush. Uh, or alternatively, I, I could just rush military units and try to like attack AI like right away. No, that's not going to work. Oh, I mean like the attack on on the barbarian camp is not going to work. Okay, are there any horses anywhere? Uh, the horses here. This is a really nice spot for a city. Then I, I wanted to like plop a city here. Uh. Am I going to get anything if I put like if I build a city on top of horses? Am I going to get anything? Because if I put a city here, uh, I'm not going to get any of the fishes. This is the end of the city. I'm not going to get bananas. I'm not going to get the fishes. Uh, I'm not actually sure if I put a city on horses because that looks like a decent place for a city. It's safe. It's yeah, I guess. It's not like amazing or anything. Uh, not going to survive. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, there's a city-state. Okay. Policy, policy. Uh, I'm probably going to get tradition. The last time I took piety, but that didn't work very well. So I'm going to go for tradition and then probably rationalism since I'm going for a science victory. Choose research. Uh, what do we need? We need a worker. Oh, I wanted the shrine as well. Let's have a worker first and shrine second. Uh, even I don't know. Maybe uh, this shrine is going to be completely useless after after I do it. So we're going to have workers soon. So we need a camp and a mine and mine and 
this is a plantation? What do they need for cocoa? Presumably plantation, but... Um, plantation, cocoa, okay, so I need this eventually, and a camp, and a mine. Okay, we already have mines, so... There's going to be one camp, one plantation, three mines. Um, guess camp first? Yeah, let's do a camp first, and then a calendar afterwards. Um, just like that. I'm not going to rush uh, into any military conflict uh, just yet. Other than just like random fights with barbarians. Okay. Hello there. Hostile, I'm going to pledge to protect you. Ormus, okay. And maritime, so they're going to give me extra food if we become friends. Uh, let's just go here. It's not an amazing place for a city state. Uh, can I attack and win? Not yet. Uh, I think if I get like full... That's a nice attack. Eh, I can wait. I want to get to a point where I can just attack them in one turn and... Oh, hello, hello! That's Sam. Um, that's one of the random ones. So I, I added Indonesia, Polynesia and England and four random ones. Normally I just leave all of them at random, but it just seemed interesting to try something else this time. Okay, uh, I think I prefer food right now. I don't have any crazy happiness problems right now, so it's fine. I guess. Or if I did that... Four cents into the worker. Seven. No, let's do it this way for now. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode now. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.